President William Ruto has constituted a 42-member working party on education reforms to spearhead a review of the competency-based curriculum whose implementation is currently in grade 6. In a Gazette notice dated September 30th, the president directed the task force to look into the gray areas in the competency-based curriculum and review the basic education structure from primary to the tertiary level of education. As Marianne Nyambora now reports reports the task force that has six months to look into the education structure is expected to hold public participation before submitting its final report to the head of state. Using your desk, if we say it's a push, the implementation of the competency-based curriculum in the country has been characterized by confusion and anxiety among parents, teachers, pupils and education stakeholders nearly four years since it was rolled out. The discussion formed part of President William Ruto's maiden speech during his inauguration as president two weeks ago. There is a, ro a robust conversation, ladies and gentlemen, in the country on education and in particular the implementation of CBC curriculum. Public participation is critical in this matter. I will establish an education reform task force in the presidency, which will be launched in the coming weeks. It will collect views from all players in line with the constitutional demand of public participation. As such, President William Ruto today gazetted a 42-member and a seven-bench secretariat that mainly comprises educationists to evaluate the competency-based curriculum. The working party will be chaired by former Moy University Vice-Chancellor Rafael Munavu. The task force is tasked with evaluating the competency-based curriculum, assessing and recommending an appropriate structure to implement CBC. And studying the laws that govern the CBC, it will then make recommendations for a review of the legislation with a view to address duplication. The task force is also required to assess the concept and implementation of key facets that guide the competency-based curriculum. This include value-based education, community service learning, and parental empowerment and engagement. Education stakeholders were debating over the heavy burden shouldered by parents who are required to finance the education of their children under the CBC. <laughs> the upcoming transition for grade 6 learners to join grade 7 in junior secondary school in January 2023 has also sparked intense controversy. And we are particularly alive to the anxieties of parents on the twin transition of the last 844 class and the first CBC class in January next year. I assure all that there will be a solution to the matter before then. The task force will also assess the examination, teacher education, teacher training, deployment framework and the technology for curriculum delivery in a bid to improve the outcomes of the CBC. The Rafael Munavu-led task force has also been entrusted with reviewing the financing framework in schools, including capitation, for all levels of basic education. They will also come up with a framework for the management of bursaries and scholarships. Tertiary institutions and universities have not been left out, as the 49-member task force will also look into the review of governance and legislation on tertiary education funding entities. The task force has six months from the date of the Gazette notice to conclude its reviews and submit its final report. However, every two months they are also tasked with issuing the head of state with a progress report. The task force is also expected to invite views from sector stakeholders and conduct public participation forums. Another activity, yes. The final report is expected to give a blueprint for the education sector that is gradually transitioning from the 844 system to the 2663 education system. Marianne Nyambura, Citizen TV.